Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Unplug TV Australia. Well, today with a range road test I would like to do, I've got a customer appointment in Lowood. This is 20, so 21 kilometers away. I think the other route is actually further here, so we go this way. 21 kilometers one direction, so 42 kilometers all in total. Nah. And this is all 80 and 100 kilometer zone. If it would be city driving, town driving, slow town driving, stop and go traffic, some traffic lights, 50, 60 kilometers, maximum speed, yes, I could potentially do it, but on the 80 to 100 kilometer zone, no. Nah. There's almost no elevation in there, apart from the little hill um, before Lowood, before we got down to Lowood. I think we will end up with about 50% state of charge when we get there to the customer. And then we have got only 20% to use um, for coming back. So 98.9% huh, what else to expect. So we are down to a 72.6% state of charge. Um, I will tell you something about the battery condition very quickly. I my prediction is oh hang on I'm all the way down my prediction is the next step down will be a 0 0.5 ampere hour again watch that space so we have a prediction of the dog of 31 kilometers and a prediction of the ooh, gom of 55 kilometers because I did some hybrid driving further away yesterday and always after hybrid driving 55 kilometers. <laughs> it's insane. So 31, 55. <laughs> I trust the dog more. So we're doing 80 kilometers an hour. car uses around 10 kilowatt of energy. Yeah, we have some headwind this morning, so the car will use more energy on our way there. But on our way back we will benefit from this because the tailwind and the wind is pushing us. I'm also benefiting from the temperature this morning, 23 degrees only. Um, very cloudy day. I've got the climate control off and there will be also no battery heating happening because the battery the battery is only 25 and 27 degrees warm there are actual cars behind me and it's a 100 kilometer zone so i'm doing 95 around but the headwind you can really feel the headwind and look how far the power meter is up and the car is using about 15 to 20 kilowatt at the moment to keep this 95 kilometer per hour so it's a lot of energy being wasted while driving that fast with a strong headwind driven at 12 kilometers now and the prediction of the dog went down 12 kilometers so this one is very precise while the other one went down by almost 30 kilometers from 55 to 26, so 29 kilometers down. <laughs> I'm really trying to be as efficient as possible, but it's just not possible. There are cars behind me, 100 kilometers per hour and headwind. So the energy is going down, down, down very, very quickly. Very strong headwind, doing 80 kilometers per hour at the moment and car uses 16 kilowatt. That's insane. So no room for coasting or regen or something. It's just putting energy into the car, keep it going, keep it going all the time. Well, that's just what it is. It's totally different as if you drive in town or in the city or something where you can slow down and let it coast to the next traffic light. 
not here not here I'm constantly putting energy into the car to keep it at the speed so now we are driving down to Lowood and this is the only possibility I have at the moment to actually coast so I can really take the foot of the accelerator and almost keep my 80 kilometers per hour that's only 70 now don't want to put any more energy into the car I need to turn in 400 meters All right, we are the customer side and we are at 55%. Okay, see you in a minute. No loss so far, there was exactly an hour and we're trying to get home now. 12 kilometers on the gasometer and 11 kilometers on the dog. And it's potentially, it is warm in here. So the, the car behind me has turned, so there's no one behind me. I can really take it easy, 70 kilometers per hour. Let it coast a bit here. It's a little bit downhill and we've got tailwind. So hopefully we can gain some kilometers back. But uh, of course there's no way we can make it, but it's still interesting to see how far we can actually come. So that was 20, yeah, 20 kilometers. And now we are 22 kilometers into the journey. Oh well, now we've got cars behind us again. But um, on this straight, on this straight road here now in, um, ahead of us, I'm driving 80, that 80 kilometers an hour again. We can see we're using only seven kilowatt instead of 10 to 12 before because we've got tailwind now. So that's a huge difference already. I'll like it. So we are now down to two blue bars and the battery gauge. Three kilometers on the gasometer, four kilometers on the dog, and we are, have done 28.6 kilometers so far, all in total. So we are getting close to 30 kilometers, and this is probably the maximum you can get out of the battery. In these conditions we've got uh, 27 degrees outside so it's almost ideal conditions but um, yeah the the speed is it's killing your EV range it's killing your efficiency the battery is just too small now with 72% um, state of health there's a lot of ampere hours missing, over 10 ampere hours missing on the full capacity of 38 ampere hours. We are down to 27.6 ampere hours only. So I guess the engine will come on every second. Yeah, here's the engine. Exactly 30, uh, 31 kilometers of range I'm getting out of the battery under these conditions. Um, we have to have a look at the trip card later on to see how what the average um, speed actually was during this trip. I guess it will be around 60, 60 ish, 65 kilometers per hour on average. So to compare your range with this range here, you have to keep the 65 or whatever kilometer per hour average speed. Otherwise, if you drive slower, you will get further, of course. And as always, I'm putting the car in charge mode now. Charging up the battery until I have probably three, four kilometers in the, on the gasometer. And um, then before we get home, I turn it off and use this to recharge energy again until I'm get, getting home. So I'm driving 100 kilometers per hour now on a fairly flat road and the battery gets charged with uh, 7.98 kilowatts. So still less than 1C of charging while driving 100 kilometers per hour and charge the battery. Letting the car coast now with the engine turned on in charge mode. 
and now we are charging with about 20 kilowatts this is almost or this is the same energy you get into the battery as if you would uh, shadimo charge or dc quick charge this is around 20 kilowatts as well and that's what i get when i let the car coast in charge mode and now we've got 15 kilowatt because we're going slower so i have recharged 2.3 ampere hours uh, let's see if this is enough to get home i've got four kilometers and I have only two kilometers to drive, but it is the hilly. Oh, oh. The horse is under control. That's fine. Yeah, these these hills be before I get home. They are killing me all the time here. They're eating up a lot of energy. These up and downs. I'm waiting for the beautiful gate. 34% uh, set of charge um, when we came home. So I could have turned off the engine earlier, but yeah, well, what, what can you do? You can't optimize everything. Even if I try, I've <laughs> oh, I need to close the gate. Okay, let's have a look at the trip card. So just quickly, the battery has warmed up to 31 and 33 degrees, and we are still at uh, 3.8. 3.85 I would say average yeah, 3.84 volts and this is with uh, 33 percent some of you guys some of you guys have asked about the voltage as well to monitor the voltage a little bit at um, different state of charges and that's what I'm doing yeah, and of course it's rising now because it's the car is in idle mode now and there's almost no load on the on the battery and voltage is rising okay uh, let's turn off the car okay so totally traveled kilometers are 42 kilometers so I wasn't able to make the 42 kilometers a um, little bit of elevation not too much actually sportive I don't understand see I still managed 12% gliding and 6.8% regen um, yeah not not much region because this is all flat terrain here and there's no there's no possibility to actually to actually region and to coast so 16.1 kilowatt hours plus 1.9 liters per 100 kilometers on average for this trip um, 0 0.8 liters per oh no that's the total um, amount and I remember I have done this trip before because I was at this customer site before. It was, I think it was during summertime or something. I, I made a video as well, a little road trip video to Lowood. I link it at the end of this video so you can watch it. And I was able to make it actually to the customer and back. And the battery was around 80%, I, I don't know what percentage it was on, but I could make it to the destination and back so you can see exactly the range loss now again um, that was probably hang on when did the engine actually kick in the first time here oh yeah 31 kilometers yeah so 31.5 kilometers the engine kicked in the first time so this was pure electric driving 32 kilometers on average speed of 61.5 kilometers per hour so if you do the comparison, as I said before, you have to match the average speed as well. If you drive only 40 or 50 kilometers per hour, you are driving slower and using less energy and going further, of course. So you have to match the 61.5 kilometers per hour to actually compare your range with this one, if you are into such things. Okay, guys, interesting trip. Um, the I need to go back to this customer. Um, I've got the computer with me. I couldn't fix it over there, so I need to go. Um, I need to go there again, probably tomorrow, to bring the computer back. Um, let me think about something. What we could do potentially differently um, to get better efficiency for this trip of forty-one point five kilometers. It's a shame you can't even make 41 kilometers anymore with moderate to daisy, Miss Daisy like driving style. Even the dog shows me sportive, I don't know why, but yeah, it was definitely not sportive. <laughs> not mm. in any circumstance. 
Okay, guys, anyway, this is the short... Well, you know what? I don't... I don't... I... Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia, signing off. You stay charged, and we will see you guys in the next video, of course, which is coming out. Yeah, we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for your support. Okay, see you then. Bye-bye.